Okay, so here we have a Dunham number one. It's just like this. See the inside. Now, that ceiling surface is metal. This would be the original Dunham cover. Same thing, a number one Dunham cover. And it's threaded on the inside to fit one of these diaphragms. Now, I do not have the original diaphragm that came out of this. So, what I do have is that's a MEPCO 1E diaphragm and that ceiling surface there and that ceiling surface there is what stops the uh, the steam from blowing through. That's a new cover. You're gonna I apologize, I'm doing this one-handed because I'm holding the smartphone. Let me pause and screw that cover on so I can do it two-handed. All right, we're back. Now that was done with no gasket. That's metal to metal. Now the problem with these uh, Dunhams is the actual mating surface on these comes to a point, which is much different than say a, a normal trap like this, which has a nice flat wide. That's machine flush. And so that's what's typical. That's where we get a really good ceiling surface because all of our covers are machine flat too, so that require that would require no gasket. Whereas this is not a very wide ceiling surface, and because it come to a point, a lot of times we do end up putting a gasket on that. All right, let's put some steam to this. See how long it takes to seal up. Let's call that pretty much sealed, although we're still getting a, still getting a little steam blow by. And that's probably due to the fact that that seat down there in the body is obviously got some imperfections from being, you know, 100 years old. But I think that's probably as good as you're going to get. Now we can put a little water to it to simulate some condensate. See if we can burp the system, get it going here. Get it to cycle. There it is. All right. Danny, would you would? Wow. Well, I'm waiting for this to seal back up. Well, I just I just ran some water into it, so it really cooled the unit down. But
It's not working very well, is it? Huh? Well, it worked before. Well, I'll call that sealed up, but I didn't like that it didn't seal up previously. So, why is that not focusing? So, could have been a bad sealing surface. So, let's, uh, it's a 1950. I just made it myself. Put that in there. Now the difference is there's a gasket at the edge of this cage unit. It's going to then seal up against that. And then we're going to put a 1950 cover on with a gasket. Let me pause this and screw this on. All right. So we got the same Dunham number one. 1950 cage unit with a gasket and a cover. Same trap. Let's put the steam on. I'll explain why our traps seal up so much faster when I have this apart, but let's just finish this testing. So that's got steam to it. A little condensate in there. Sorry, I lost the uh, lost memory there. All right, so back here, let's put some water to this. Get it to the cycle. Just thinking about it. Give it a little help, man. Water here. I mean, it is draining. Come on, baby. I mean, this is what it's supposed to do, but I'm trying to get it to blow so you can see how it seals up again. There we go. There we go. So that's subcooled. And then it's sealed up again. So that's that's typical of all of our traps. And I don't see any 
I've seen, ow, that's hot. <laughs> I don't see any leaks on that. There's a leak here, but that's just because that fitting's, we should probably get rid of that. It's dangerous. But that's typically what we see, just a little bit coming out. Um, and it's because we calibrate all of our cage units so that the throw between that, all of which I'll show in a video, the throw between the, the plug and the seat is the same distance no matter what cage unit we put in there, and that's part of our cage unit department. All right, so let me see if I can explain the results, <clears throat> excuse me, a little better. So this is a 1E, or sorry, this is a, a Dunham 1, and as I showed, that was the original cover. When these diaphragms screw into the cover, we're relying on a number of things. We're relying on the height of this seat here in the cover to be the right distance, because this is a now a fixed length part. We're also relying on... Oops, Get that focused. We're also relying on this machine part to be the same. And then we're also relying on having a good ceiling surface in there. So all three of those combined, you've got some variables. But that's a that's a MEPCO 1E diaphragm. And that's sealed in there. Um, so it works, uh, but as you saw in the video, uh, we got a lot of steam on the initial startup that blew by and that's just a factor of it took a long time for this cage unit or this diaphragm to react to flash and to push the plug up against the seat. We didn't have any leaking on the ceiling surface so that was a good thing. Um, then on the replacement that we did, what would be our cage unit, we removed that and we installed a 1950 cage unit. Now, there's a number of differences between this and the, the diaphragm. Number one is that we use a gasket, okay, and this gasket seals up against that seat, and that helps eliminate any issues. If you've got a nick in the seat or it's corroded in some way, this can help eliminate all that, and I think you saw with how tight our cage units seal up that there was no steam that got by that, and so that eliminates that variable. The other thing is because it's sprung in place with pressure from the cap, it's not a height issue. So whether this uh, cover was machined differently or the height difference, we've accounted for that variability by the spring. And the other thing we've done to eliminate that variability is that we also, we also um, calibrate this, uh, this diaphragm so that it's always 70 thousandths from the plug to the seat. And so we've eliminated all the variables by housing it in our own cage unit. So all we have to do is literally fit this cage unit, which, you know, that seat's calibrated to the, the orifice size there. It's to fit that in there. And then I think Dave mentioned he was having problems with sealing. Some of the cage units, uh, the covers that we do, it's just a factor of, of what ceiling surface we have to mate to. And some are trickier than others, but this has not been one that we've experienced that um, ceiling, so maybe he can expand upon that. But um, that's a 1950 cover, and as you saw, that just screws down. And then that's the amount of kind of spring pressure that we have on that. And you saw how fast our cage units react, and it's because that distance between the plug and the seat we calibrate in the factory, and it's the same for all cage units. So that's why ours sealed up so quickly. And that's a primer on a, on a Dunham 1, 1E, 1A, B, C. They're all the same basic premise. Any questions, give us a call.